Okay, General, everyone is here and accounted for. Excellent, everything is going according to plan. Okay, well call. Kyle's. I am ready like my fist when I punch a drywall. Naruto Runners. We're pumped up with energy and ready for the run, sir. And finally, Lock Throwers. We are locked and loaded, sir. Okay, listen up. We are here for one thing and one thing only, and that is to take whatever secret they are hiding in there. So, are we ready? Yeah! Yeah! Now let's go get that alien booty. I mean, secret UFO documents. <coughs> Don't worry, if you look up in the sky, you can see the Minecraft players with creative mode on. They will be too distracted on us before they can see it coming. Now let's charge! A few moments later. Plan didn't go well than I expected. No, it did not. Well, this isn't the first time I got taken down by the man. What do you mean by that? Well, it all started with a prank call. Hey guys, it's Fiddle Skittle again. After failing to give me some alien booty, I was reminded of a time I prank called the police. And if you read the title of the video, it was something very unpleasant. Now before I go any further, I'd like to assure you that I was 12 and was not a bright lad. So I condemn this bad moment in my life. And to this day, I still feel embarrassed whatever my pals who were there always bring this story up. It all started with me and three other buds just sitting around talking about how cool it would be to do a certain thing. You know what would be cool? If we stayed up late past our curfew just to make our parents mad. Not bad, not bad. But you know what would be even cooler? If we Nicky Nicky Nine Door the neighbors. In case you don't know, Nicky Nicky Nine Door is another name variation of Ding Dong Ditch. Then one of my bud goes, Sure, that's cool and all, but you know what would be even the coolest of the cool? If we called 911 and curse at them. We were like, whoa, no, that would be awesome. But keep in mind, we were 12 and all this talk of how cool it would be to do this is just to hype each other up just so we can impress others of stuff that we weren't actually gonna do, but just to make us look cool. Preteens, doing cringy stuff since forever. But 12 year old me didn't know this was just for talk and figure they were actually serious of some of these ideas. So when my buds left to go eat some pop tarts in the kitchen, the s'mores kind, I may add. Mmm. I kind of stood there thinking, hey, I want to press them by doing one of those ideas. If I do that, then I will be the coolest of the cool guy in the group. So I picked up the phone, dialed 911, and no joke, this is 100% what I said to her. Hello, 911. What's your emergency? F you. Okay then. After that little exchange, I felt nervous, but at the same time felt like a rebel. I walked to the kitchen and said, Hey guys, guess I'm the coolest of the cool guy in the group now. My buds turned to me confused and said, What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Just I called 911 and said the F word to them and hung up. I was expecting praise for this, but instead all I got were concerns and judgment from my pals. Uh, dude, we were kidding. What? Yeah, we weren't actually serious about all that stuff. What were you thinking? Uh, I don't know. But look, it's fine. I hang up and there's no way they can know where we are. Why when I said that, one of my bud's mom came in the kitchen with a phone in her hand and was quite mad at us. Who called the cops and said the F word to them? Well, she. Apparently nobody told me that people could call you back based on your phone address. I always assume in my dumb mind that once you hang up, they can never track you down. But oh, was I in for a surprise. And a surprise I got. I got yelled at by my bud's mom and my folks who were in the garage talking to the other adults heard about this and was also mad at me about the whole ideal. I then began to panic and feel as if the police were going to come by and arrest me for this. Me, a 12 year old in jail. I won't last a day in prison. <laughs> After being lectured by everyone, my friend's mom told me she had the police officer on the phone I swore at and told me to apologize to her. I felt bad and ashamed, and I grabbed the phone and apologized, and the police officer had this to say. 
now, Ryan. You need to know what you did was not okay, but I accept your apology, and I hope this teaches you a lesson. If you do this again, there's going to be problems, and this time you won't be off with a warning. Now, I don't take her word for it as a threat. At least... At least I hope it wasn't a threat. But I assume the warning would mean something like a fine for my folks. Or me in my adult years if I ever try this again. She was nice enough to give me a warning since I was a dumb, naive 12 year old boy who didn't know any better. If there's a lesson to this story, it's to never prank call 911. Seriously, you will get a big doo doo for it. So yeah, that was the time I swore at a police officer. Also, I'd like to thank some of the lovely Storytime Animation community for voicing some lines for the Area 51 raid. Their names will be in the description, please go check them out. Also, shout out to Tabs for voicing the police officer lady. Go check her out. If you don't, she will likely send her police squad to your house. Anyway, my social media is in the description and I hope you liked the video. I'll see you again. Peace.